In this video, let us continue to solve word problems based on simultaneous linear equations. And we've got a problem here which is about boat. The boat travels 32 kilometers upstream and 36 kilometers downstream in 7 hours. Also, it covers 40 kilometers upstream and 48 kilometers downstream in 9 hours. Find the speed of the boat in still water at that of the stream. Well, before we get into the problem, uh, another thing that we have to discuss about upstream and downstream is that when you're traveling downstream, you don't only have your speed, you also have the speed of the river carrying you also. So when you're going downstream, you go faster than your actual speed because the water is also going in that direction. It's like It's like traveling in a steep road. Uh, either upwards or downwards. Downwards you don't have to, you know, the speed is more. But as far as the upstream is concerned, the, you know, the speed is going to be pulled down by the negative current or the opposite current. That's the thing because in the upstream the water is flowing against you and you have to go against the current of the water, thereby you're losing speed there, right? So these are the two important points that you need to remember before we get into the problem. Alright, now what we have to do is we need to find the speed of the boat in still water and that of the stream, right? So first, so those are the unknowns here. So as usual, uh, let the speed of the boat, let the speed of the boat, let the speed of the boat in still water be x kilometers per hour and uh, let the speed of the stream let the speed of the stream be y kilometers per hour the reason i'm taking speed of the stream and not speed of the boat in the stream water is because the speed of the boat in stream water is because of the speed of the stream. So that's why speed of the stream is important than speed of the boat in stream water, right? So that's pretty important. So do note that down. So now, now that we've come to this one, we first have to see what's going to be the speed upstream. The speed upstream is going to be the speed of the boat minus the speed of the stream, x minus y kilometers per hour, because the stream is against, it's flowing against the direction of the boat. And then the speed downstream is, of course, anybody's guess. It's going to be x plus y because the speed of the stream is also flowing in the direction of the, sorry, the stream is also flowing in the direction of the boat. So it's going to be greater, right? So these are the speeds. So now, now that we've done this, what do we have to take from the question? It says the boat covers 32 kilometers upstream right when you've got the speed and the distance you can find the time right so time to cover 32 kilometers upstream is uh, so time is what time is distance by speed right so you get 32 divided by x minus y hours time is hours so similarly time to cover 36 kilometers downstream is going to be 36 divided by x plus y, right? Because it's the distance by the speed. The speed is going to be more downwards. So here we've got it, right? We've got two equations here. It is time to cover 32 kilometers. No, not two equations, but yeah, on the way to forming equations. So yeah, now it also says that a boat covers 32 kilometers upstream and 36 kilometers downstream in total 7 hours. So if this is the time for upstream and downstream, these are the times. You need to add this to get 7 hours, right? So the first equation that we get here is 32 divided by x minus y. Before that, let me kind of split this sheet into two. So yeah, here we are. So adding that with 36 divided by x plus y hours. So this is time and this is time. This is equal to 7 hours. So we've got a first equation here. So similarly, time taken to cover, time to cover 40 kilometers, 40 kilometers upstream is going to be 40 by x minus y hours. 
and time to cover 48 kilometer downstream is uh, 48 divided by x plus y hours so again now this is 9 hours right so add this to become 9 hours so 40 by x minus y plus 48 by x plus y equals 9 so now at the end of this sheet we've got two equations 32 by x minus y plus 36 by x plus y equals 7 and 40 by x minus y plus 48 by x plus y being 9 so now this is this is all that there is to do as far as this problem is concerned i mean conceptually at least from now it's pretty mathematical you just have to solve these equations to find x and y so now that we've got these equations let's go to the next sheet to solve it completely so again recalling the two equations that we got is 32 divided by x minus y plus 36 divided by x plus y equals 7 hours and we've got 40 by x minus y plus 48 plus x plus y equals 9 hours. So now we need to reduce this to the form of simultaneous linear equation. Let us take 1 by x minus y as u and 1 by x plus y as v. So therefore we get 32u plus 36v equals 7 because 1 by x minus y is u and 1 by x plus y is v. And then we get 40u plus 48v equal to 9. Right? So we can rewrite this as 32u plus 36v minus 7 equal to 0 and 40u plus 48v minus 9 equal to 0. Since the equations are a little big, we can write it like, you know, we can use the cross multiplication method. So u minus v and then 1 divided by, divided by, divided by, u got equal to and equal to. So leave the coefficients of u, take the rest, 36, 48 and minus 7, minus 9. As far as v is concerned, again, multiply this like this. For v, leave the coefficients of v, take 32 and 40, and then minus 7 and minus 9. So again, like this. So for 1, just take the coefficients of u and v, u, we get 32 and 40, and 36 and 48. So like this again. So now it will be u divided by 36 into minus 9 is minus 324. Well, before this, let me draw a line here to avoid confusion yes so and uh, minus of 48 into minus 7 is uh, 3 minus 336 equals minus v divided by 32 times minus 9 is uh, minus 288 minus of uh, 40 into minus 7 is going to be minus 280 equals 1 divided by 32 times 48 is 1536 minus 40 times 36 is 1440. So now solving this, we get u divided by minus 324 minus or minus 336 is minus 324 plus 336, which is nothing but 12. So u by 12 equals minus v by minus 288 minus of minus 280 is going to be minus 8, right? So it's going to be v by 8 because the negative negative is going to get cancelled. Then we've got 1 divided by 1536 minus 1440 is 96. So we got to equate u by 12 to 1 by 96, in which we get u equals 12 by 96, or 12 times 8. So u equals 1 by 8. We found the value of u. And v should be v by 8 equals 1 by 96, or v equals 8 by 96. 8 goes 12 times in 96, so v equals 1 by 12. So we found the value of u and v. Now, use these equations we need to draw another line so we've got 1 by x minus y is u right so 1 by x minus y equals u is 1 by 8 so 1 by 8 and 1 by x plus y is v and v is 1 by 12 so we get 8 equals x minus y and 12 equals x plus y adding these two equations y and y gets cancelled we have 20 equals 2x or x equals 20 by 2 which is 10 so we found the value of x to be equal to 10 or that is x nothing but it is a speed so it would be 10 kilometers per hour and substitute the value of x in one of these equations to find the value of y. So it will be say 8 equals x minus y, 8 equals 10 minus y. So y is going to be 10 minus 8, y equals 2 kilometers per hour. 
So the x is the speed of the boat in still water. So the speed of the boat in still water is 10 kilometers per hour. And, and the speed of the stream is 2 kilometers per hour. So that's how much difference 2 kilometers per hour can make. So, you know, it's going to reduce the time that you're going to take to travel from one point to another upstream than downstream. So this is how we solve the problem. Problem pretty much ended conceptually here when we found these two equations. After that, it was pretty much finding, you know, using the concepts of simultaneous linear equation to solve them, after which we did all these things. So, you know, you have to use that reducible to that form, that method to solve it, get u and v into action, and then just go on. So, the speed of the boat in still water is 10 kilometers per hour, and the speed of the stream is 2 kilometers per hour. So, this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts.